shall hear a Old Norse colonial chocolatier. <laughs> Early in the spring of 43, Captain Newark Jackson was lost at sea, his chocolate subject of mutiny. Well, that's a little closer, but let's hope that Pam Cross has the original poem to read later this evening. It's amazing how often the church, our two lanterns, and the poem we celebrate tonight is referenced in our culture. 2013 seems to be the year of the commercialization of Paul Revere's life. In other years, we have noted an abundance of political references to our little lantern hanging escapade. One of my men and two by C is arguably the best known line from any poem ever, ever published in our nation's history. Despite that widespread recognition, many of the hundreds of thousands of visitors still ask, which was it? One or two? That's the second most asked question after where can I get a good home? <laughs> Our knowledge about the beginning of the American Revolution in this city and from this church may be vast, but it often seems shallow. Our goal as members of the Old North Church and the Old North Foundation is to deepen the understanding of the significance of the events that led to the American Revolution and the importance of a poem published by an abolitionist sympathizer on the eve of the Civil War. Our goal is also to tell some of the less famous stories, those that are equally fascinating but unknown about the Old North Church, those that can expand our understanding of history, freedom, and civic responsibility. Hence the opening this weekend of Captain Jackson's Colonial Chocolate Shop named after Old North member George Jackson, who plied the triangle trade and lost his life in a mutiny in the Caribbean. Hence our keynote speaker for this evening, Dr. Jill LaFleur of Harvard and New Yorker fame, who will share with us some of her research about Jane Franklin Meeker, Finn's sister, who lived just behind the Old North. The memory and celebration of history is at its heart of spiritual endeavor. Our shared traditions tell us to remember how God passed over the people of Israel as they prepared for their journey to freedom. Each week at Old North, we remember Jesus in a meal he shared with his disciples before his arrest and execution. Shared memories are what tie us to each other as citizens and as people of faith. Memories care that carry the values that bind us together as civilized human beings. Thank you for joining us in tonight and in remembering the birth of our free nation. Let us pray that we can all remember this evening and tell our friends about the stories of struggles, sacrifices, victories, and yes, chocolate that woven together gave birth to our nation. Let us pray that God will bless the Old North Church with enthusiastic supporters who will help us as we prepare for two memory milestones, our 300th birthday, to be celebrated in 10 short years, and the 250th anniversary of the Hanging of the Lanterns to be celebrated in 2025. God bless each of you for joining us. And may you carry away from this evening memories that last a lifetime.